That's it. They're off. We're set to go for the ultimate handicap chase. It's a short run to the first of 20 scheduled fences. Frodon is up there down on the inner white cap for Brani Frost, but didn't have the lead over the first. They've all got over it nimbly enough. Balagas is the early back marker, and they move on sharply to the second. And Kiltili Briggs for the McNeil family. The maroon cap and sleeves leads them as they meet rising ground for the first time. To last year's winner, the grey vintage clouds. Run to Milan in a blue and yellow jacket is disputing second. Fantasticus in the black and white is right behind the leading trio. Working across from him to one more flurry in a green and white jacket in Jericho Rock with the striped sleeves crossing the third. Again, Balagas, the back marker over it. Couple of lengths adrift. Korak Rambler in the purple and yellow is also towards the rear early with discordantly and Foxy Jackson. Our power and death duty and Noble Yates are just in front of that cluster and they run a gentle descent on towards the fourth. Taken to it by Kiltili Briggs and Vintage Clouds, who are almost as one on landing. Dr. Duffy in the spots towards the rear wasn't fluent there. Moving on towards the water. Kiltili Briggs, Vintage Clouds, run to Milan and Jericho Rock out wide. Four in a line crossing the water. Does he know? And a sheepskin noseband is right behind them with one more flurry and Fantasticus. And then full back in the dark blue and pink, about three lengths off the lead. Oscar Elite towards the far side in orange jacket, uh, being shadowed by our power as they take the first of the ditches, where again, uh, Balagas was the back marker. Korak Rambler is last but one. Rapper in a grey jacket is in midfield, meanwhile, to Lost in Translation in the yellow as they take another plain fence, then another of the greys, Grumpy Charlie. Ben Dundee in the stripes is towards the inside and he's slipstreaming Frodon against the rail. He hasn't got to the front, Frodon, and he settles in about eighth or ninth position, some five or six lengths off the leader. Fleur, meanwhile, slightly worse than Mearsfield in the black and pink as they take the ditch at the top of the hill for the first time. Ben Dundee was a bit long at that one, had to be gathered up sharply on landing. So the first eight fences behind them, and they now make the descent down the hill with Kiltili Briggs and Jericho Rock disputing it. A couple of lengths up on Vintage Clouds, fantastic as of the nose bandit, does he know? And then one more flurry, so full back run to Milan has just drifted back a little through the field. Oscar Elite and widest of all enter our power, uh, followed by Fleur and Foxy Jackson, a white jacket. Uh, meanwhile, Noble Yates, Orange Sleeves uh, held up just behind mid division as they cross the next, followed over by Death Duty. Frodon is towards the inside still. From Grumpy Charlie and Rapper, T Clipper held up in midfield. Uh, ben Dundee is three quarters of the way back discordantly. Balagas, Korak, Rambler and Dr. Duffy are the last quartet as they prepare to turn on in, uh, complete a circuit and head on towards fence 10. There'd be about 12 or 15 lengths covering the field. Uh, Kiltili Briggs against the rail, still upside Jericho Rock. Does he know? Turns in just about third. His nose bandit head away to the left. Uh, just through the top there, nodded slightly on landing. Vintage Clouds has begun to lose his position. Uh, he's only about five lengths off the lead, but he's lost three Three or four places shuffled along as they prepare to embark upon one further circuit. Lost in translation, made quite a serious mistake there. Dr. Duffy is struggling, he's last of all, uh, detached by six lengths. Korak Rambler is last of those still going in the main group, and they head up now towards uh, fence 12. And as they draw to it, it is Kiltili Briggs who hops over narrowly ahead of Jericho Rock and does he know and one more flurry in the green and white followed by Fantasticus. T Clipper in the noseband and Frodon who's cutting the corner from Rock one to, uh, to run to Milan and then our power on the outer to Lost in Translation and fullback and Grumpy Charlie followed by Oscar Elite and Foxy Jackson, Noble Yates and Vintage Clouds and then Ben Dundee as they take the first across the far side and does he know made a mistake at that one. Uh, still out the back of the field Dr. Duffy and Balagas and Korak Rambler and Discordantly and Ram in a grey jacket is well back. Fleur is still ridden with great patience, black and pink. Three quarters of the way through the field as they take the water uh, for the final time and now head on towards the penultimate ditch, fence 15. Whole field covered by a little more than uh, 10 or 12 lengths other than Dr. Duffy who's off them and it's Jericho Rock and Kiltili Briggs who took the next still as one. With Does He Know a very close there and then Fantasticus and one more flurry in the green and white to the nose bandit T Clipper. Our power, run to Milan. Foxy Jack's deepest of 
of all in the white silks. Bad mistake from Grumpy Charlie there. The grey was down in his nose. Vintage Clouds has completely lost his place. He's out the back now with this Cordley and Korak Rambler. Uh, Fleur is still yet to be put in the race in the black and pink. He's upsized Death Duty in the maroon and white. And they're alongside Rapper as they take the ditch four out. Jericho Rock was in front there from Kiltili Briggs. Then the nose banded pair of T Clipper and Does He Know and Our Power in the cheek pieces. Foxy Jacks in a white jacket is next as they start the descent, uh, being followed by Fantastic as one more flurry. Oscar Elite run to Milan, lost in translation, a yellow jacket. And then Belagas and Ben Dundee in the stripes. Fleur is still a long way back. He's in behind Noble Yates, the orange sleeves, who receives a reminder or two. Death Duty is shaken up to try and close. Uh, further back to Korak, Rambler, and Rapper, and full back, and then discordantly in Vintage Clouds, Dr. Duffy last. Are those still going? Grumpy Charlie pulled up, and over the third last, it was Jericho Rock in front. Oscar Elite on the outer with a big white face is moving into it with our power. Fantastic as the black and white and T clipper in the nose band and they round out the leading five as they swing for home. A break of a couple lengths to Death Duty Maroon Jacket staying on. Frost is working away on Frodon trying to get him competitive and then lost in translation as they swing to face the final two fences. Korak Rambler from a long way back. Purple and yellow stays on. Jericho Rock in front of the second last joined on the near side by Oscar Elite. These two move on together as they approach the final fence of the Ultima. Jericho Rock and Oscar Elite as one. Korak Rambler in third is still staying on. He's bearing down on them, has to switch. Jericho Rock, Oscar Elite, Korak Rambler threads the eye of the needle, surges for the front close home and stays on strongly. And it's Korak Rambler for Scotland who wins the Ultima. From Jericho Rock and Oscar Elite, it was close for fourth between T Clipper and Our Power, and then Fantasticus and Death Duty. Derek Fox is alongside me. Lucinda Russell was just telling me that after the full start, she turned to one of the owners of Corrick Rambler in the stand and said, you were going to need a vintage Derek Fox ride there in order to win. And that, I think, is just what you delivered. Talk me through it. Yeah, he was just slow way at the start and over the first two, but Skewed said to be patient on him if they were going quick, but probably ended up further, obviously further back than if we'd planned. But uh, listen, he, I, just, I just had to ride him from where I was left after the second fence and... Um, no, I listed the horse in great order. Um, Skew bought him at the sales and uh, he, he's always loved him. He rides him out himself, looks after him very well. And uh, no, I just have to thank Skew and Lucinda for giving me the ride on him a bit, really. He's, uh, he was in great order for today and um, no, he flew home and uh, he's plenty of ability. When you started working your way through the field, when were you starting to think, I'm in with a shout here? I knew if I got a, a good run, I'd be placed, and that's what I was working for. After, you know, after being so far back, and I'd get him into a place, and then obviously just up the hill, he stayed very, very well, and um, stuck his head down in the last 50 yards, and you know, just brilliant. Worked out really well. You know, didn't exactly go to plan, but um, worked out really well, and just delighted. And is he a bit quirky? Does he? Is he a horse that repays knowing? Uh, possibly, I suppose. Yeah, he just, he does. Even, even if. By times, even in his small runner novice chases, he can drop the bridle a wee bit. And he won around here early in the year in his small runner novice chase. And he did pull up a wee bit on front, so probably good for him to have something to aim at. But um, <laughs> no, he's, 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 a, he's a brilliant horse for me to have ridden and have to ride on. And uh, I feel very lucky to be riding him. And no, i just just delighted. He's a huge talent, I think, as are you. You've won a Grand National. Now you've got your first Cheltenham Festival winner. How are you feeling right now? Asher's brilliant, yeah. No, that's just, yeah, and it's lovely to win big races and especially somewhere like here. So um, no, just over the moon, can't believe it. And also I think for, for Lucinda and for Peter, it's such a close knit operation. You're all there rooting for each other at all times. That must add to the specialness of the occasion. Yeah, of course, yeah. Listen, Lucinda and Skew are very good to me and give me loads of opportunities and uh, it's great to be able to repay them a small bit and pick up a few few nice races for them. So no, I'm very lucky to be riding for them. So brilliant. I think it's not just that, Derek. That was absolutely fantastic. Many, many congratulations. Cheers. Thank you. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.